everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be another family grocery haul and meal plan so if you want to see what we've bought and what we're eating for the week ahead then keep watching. I don't know why I did put my hands there, sorry about that. But yeah, this is another Tesco grocery haul. Um, let me know if you still enjoy these and I'll keep doing them. Um, I got a bit tired of doing them for a bit because it felt like that was what I was, like the grocery haul girl. Um, but yeah, I've got a few ideas up my sleeve for this week and different meals and stuff. So I'll run through everything that we picked up first and then I will do the meal plan at the end. So let's get cracking. Okay, so we're gonna start with fruit and veg and stuff as normal. Excuse any background noise, there's loads of work going on our road at the moment and we've got some very happy birds in our garden. Um, so we've got three packs of baby cucumbers, some cherry tomatoes, bananas, Jersey royals, onions, seasonal apples, uh, garlic and melon, a large cucumber, watercress, three avocados. The avocados, the melon, the what else was radishes and Jersey royals were all part of the like you know when the discount seasonal produce so they were I think were like 49p something like that so that was quite good um so i did get some radishes two packs of little gem lettuces some spring onions and two packs of strawberries i've not gone too um hard on veg just because i find in this heat it just doesn't seem to keep as well so i'm gonna add to that as and when we need it and then in the background here I have a really annoying fly and um, some toilet roll and that's a chicken that I've roasted in there that I'm letting cool. Um, speaking of chicken, I've been doing this where I've been getting an extra large whole chicken, the biggest one that you can get basically, roasting it and then splitting it across meals. So this one here is going to be made into a Pizza Express polo salad and a curry. And then this one here is going to be made into hoisin chicken wraps and something else that I can't remember off the top of my head oh a carb salad um so it's quite a nice way of doing it because you only cook it once and then you can kind of make what you will out of it and it's generally a bit more cost effective and um, we've got some hoisin sauce speaking of those wraps blue cheese dressing for the cob salad I ordered one jar of some sweet chili chutney and because he's slightly smaller, they sent me two jars of a tomato and chilli chutney. Um, I saw a recipe for a cheddar and chutney um, Spanish tortilla type thing. Um, so with eggs and like potatoes. And I thought it sounded really nice to sell this. So I'm going to try to do that. Ham and cheese capoletti, always really handy to have in. Doesn't go off until July. So that's so useful with like pesto, grated cheese kind of thing. We always do that. Got some cheddar that Mark's already broken into. <laughs> These are on offer, like buy two for a certain amount. I got some free range eggs. Um, never bought from this big and free brand before. <gasps> wow, they're white ones. Oh, they're fun. Our eggs are normally brown. Um, so I got those. Um, some blue stilton. Hot dogs, Cathedral City cheddar, salami slices, Brunswick ham. They ran out of this one, so they sent me this one as well because I ordered two. Um, barbecue chicken, they're great for wraps and sandwiches and stuff. Two pizzas were on offer, so we've got ham, pineapple and margarita. Richmond sausages, smoky bacon, two packs of wraps there. Some triple chocolate pancakes, Warburton's crumpets, Warb's toasty and New York Bakery Company sesame bagels. They are just a staple in this house. And then over at the back here are kiddie bits. So we've got blueberry muffins, tea Swiss rolls. A, because I thought they'd be quite cute for pet lunches. But B, um, surprised I've not mentioned that in the rest of the whole part. We've got nine of Bill's friends staying for a sleepover this weekend for his birthday. And I thought they'd just be like cheap and cheerful to have in. We're going to get takeaway pizza for them all. Um, I've got loads of sweets which I picked up from B&M. So I feel like roughly prepared. I've just got a few bits left to get for breakfast. But I'm actually going to go to Aldi for those. Because Aldi do frozen pan au chocolat now. And they're cheaper than everywhere else. So I'm going to pick them up from there. Um, but yeah, I've got those. Aero yogurts. Pepperamis. There's building noise going on now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Fruits, these are on offer. Um, I'm going to try freezing them actually. Tropical fruit slurpers and apple and strawberry slurpers. I have been freezing these for pack lunches to be 
nice and cool and keep the lunch spots cool by the time they get them so i'm going to try it with the freebs as well i have done that before but just not this year uh, walkers are on offer mini fingers and then fruit hearts and fruit twists were on offer as well and then finally i've got two packs of these yogurt drinks because there'll be 10 of bill's friends and then stan and daisy and i thought that would be nice with like fruit and pan of chocolate in the morning for breakfast burst of coconut for me orange lemon and pineapple squash that is so noisy very platinum because we've run out Starbucks vanilla pods, orange juice of bits, we've already got apple juice in for the morning after the sleepover, we've got strawberry sensations media times two, poppadoms and then for all the boys when they're here because fizzy drink is what you're into when you're that age apparently, lemon and lime zero, dandelion and burdock, um, vimto and orange zero, hopefully that will be okay, I don't know because I'm not 11, um, but yeah that is everything and now on to the meal plan. Okay, meal plan time. So, Friday. Um, we normally have cricket on that day. There's a fly buzzing around my kitchen and it's driving me bonkers. I do not like flies at this time of year. Sorry, flies. If that's judgmental of me, I apologise. But they, it's just everywhere. It's one of those big buzzy ones. Um, anyway, Friday is um, cricket night and it can be really, really complicated. And Bill is actually back from his residential. So I've got to do a real quick one with the kids and sort of pick him up, quickly come back and then go. So for them, excuse my washing machine, I've got a pizza um, for Stan and Daisy that I'm gonna stick on once I pick them up from school. And I do that with like some hummus and um, cucumber, carrot sticks, that kind of thing. Then once I've got them fed, I'm gonna leave them here with Mark while I go and pick up Bill. <laughs> and then come back here, put another pizza in the oven for him um that he can have that mark can take out which is good really because he's a hammer pineapple boy and the little two still prefer margarita because they're boring and um then i'm gonna have to leave straight away to go to cricket with the kids um but bill i know he won't want to come and he'll be knackered so he'll just stay here with mark and then when we come back in a bid to be a little bit healthier and just also because we really fancy it i'm gonna do the pizza express polo salad which they cut off the menu and i hate them for that because it was the best salad ever but thankfully i know how to make it myself and um, then on saturday we are using the other half of that chicken to make a curry with and then for the kids it's bill's sleepover this weekend um which is going to be they're all going to be knackered because they come back from the residential and then it's like sleepover the next night but uh we're ordering a load of takeaway pizzas from a local place in for all of the kids there's going to be uh 10 11 year old boys in total and then daisy and stanley as well um so we've got sweets in i've got loads of snacks and cool things and fizzy drinks and American sweets and Pringles and all of that in for them to have um, and then we're just going to use the leftover chicken to have a curry with non bread and we make that earlier on and then just heat it up and then we can take it in the other room and they can demand like not demand command this space instead because it's bigger sunday is father's day so once everyone's gone in the morning we are heading out to a local italian place which does amazing food i'm really looking forward to that a because um i want to spoil mark and b because i don't need to cook which is really nice it's quite a treaty weekend which is a good reason for having a salad on friday monday we're going to have hoisin chicken wraps with fries and salad i've done a little like mini video on how i make that um so remember to leave that link down below Tuesday I'm going to use um, the other half of that chicken to make a carb salad so that's like boiled eggs, bacon, blue cheese sauce, like lettuce, tomatoes, croutons, that kind of thing. I think it would be really yummy and refreshing when it's hot. Um, <clears throat> why are you not working? Then I'm going to make this recipe that I saw on the Tesco website which was a chilli cheese and chilli jam tortilla um, but like Spanish tortilla with egg and potatoes and stuff because it seemed really simple as like a vegetarian meal as well but um, one that's quite afford affordable but tasty so fingers crossed that works and then Thursday Mark is covering because he cuts on a Thursday and that is everything so I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching bye